Hi everyone, welcome back to Plum Mashable. So I warned you that this was going to be a month of Planners Anonymous. I didn't think this was going to get here quite so fast, uh, but I'm going to share it with you now because I'm way too excited to wait. Uh, this is the Planners Anonymous All for Fall and All the Booze uh, combo collection. So let's go ahead and have a look. Okay, so I filmed these out of order. Um, when you see the unboxings of All for Fall and uh, PAU, just remember that they were filmed before this, but this couldn't wait. I needed to get this up first. So this is the All for Fall and All the Booze uh, combo. For the, for the booze, not all the booze. I'll get it right. Um, this is the full combo. So this is everything that was in that collection. I grabbed all of it because I kind of looked at it and I thought, well, I could probably live without the pin and I could probably live without, like, the paper clip. But then I sort of thought, well, just get the lot. Just get the lot. So it just became easier, really. So let's go ahead and have a look uh, all through this. I'm going to start with the, all the fall stuff and then I'm going to come back for, to the to the fall for the booze. I'm very excited for the booze. Uh, this did come. So first off, I bought this with uh, my stepmom. We went, not halves, but she got some stuff from the all the booze collection as well. For the booze. I'll get it right, I swear. Um, she bought some stuff from the for the booze collection. So we just had it all shipped here. So we got a couple of bonuses that I think we wouldn't have got. I wouldn't have got if I bought it on my own. Uh, one of those was a... Um, uh, Dream Chaser washi tape, so I'm going to give that to her, uh, and also a Sale and See weekly sticker kit. I already have one of these. I've already used Sale and See a hundred times, so I'm going to see if she wants it. If she doesn't want it, I'm happy to keep it, um, but um, I'm going to offer it to her first, so hopefully she wants it and she can love it um, the way that I've always loved it. I don't know where to start. I think you start with the TN. I think you start with the TN because it's, it's the star of the show. Um, it's also everything kind of all fits into the TN, so I guess it makes sense to start with that. So I'm just going to pull this out of the plastic. I don't know why I just had in my head that there was a sticker book with this, but there's not. The sticker book's obviously with the old for fall collection, which you'll see in a couple of weeks' time. A couple of weeks, yeah, a couple of weeks probably. I say, first off, I love that this comes in a box. That's just because that's just super cool. So it's just a very simple brown box. It's just got Planners Anonymous uh, of all the seasons. I love fall most of all. Uh, I need to tell you something. I'm falling for you. It's so cute. Let's open it up. Oh, and then it comes in a bag. And it comes in a bag. So you still got the box. Still got the box. We'll put that over to the side. And then it comes in the dust bag. Same way as always does. Oh, I'm so looking forward to this. Oh my goodness. <gasps> oh. Okay, that's just stunning. So the, you've got the dust bag, which you can use for, for storage. If you're someone that likes to take your planner with you, but you're scared about getting it dirty, uh, you can obviously put it in there. I use mine for storage for other things because I keep mine on display. Um, but oh my goodness. So the first thing I'm going to just point out, I've, I've got... I won't say all the TNs, I've got most of them. They always come flat. I love that this is in the box and it doesn't. So the spine's already feeling more more upright. It doesn't feel like... I'm trying to find another one that kind of does it. Most of mine have kind of been sat up for long enough. But even this one, like you can see with the rainbow one, it, it just kind of sits that way. And that's... It's not a problem. It doesn't bother me because once you sort of start putting them on display and using them, it kind of flattens out a little bit. But even a long time going, and that's still not quite as flat. Um, so you've got the gorgeous speckles on the front. Oh, I love that. You've got the flowers around the outside. Gorgeous pinks and orange. Oh, my goodness. And then the back is just this explosion of colour. Look at that. Oh, that's so good. That's absolutely stunning. I love that. And then you open it up. It's got the beautiful yellow. And there's the, the, oh wow, that's got gold. And then you've got the inside that we know and love. So you've got the gorgeous Melody, um, which I bought, new gold rings. I always buy new rings. I could obviously just keep moving them in and out. I've got so many of them. But I like the fact that each one has their own set of rings. That just makes me happy. Uh, so you've got the, the standard bit. You've got the two diagonal pockets that are yellow. And then the, the coloured one. And then you've got the little spot for a little notepad on the front. 
got your three card po uh, card pockets at the back, another big pocket, and then you've got your um, pen loop there as well. Beautiful magnetic closure, gold hardware. So the gold rings that I bought to go with it, which I will pop out and show you very quickly. Um, I won't show you how to put the rings in because I'm pretty sure I've done that on multiple occasions already. Um, but just to sort of show you what you get. You get the little bits to put it all together. And then you've got your gold hardware all wrapped up in that beautiful tissue paper. And that just opens and closes. Very easy to install these two. Not, not complicated at all. If I can work it out, anyone can. Oh my goodness, that is gorgeous. And I love the little squirrel on the front. I just love the way that he's sort of just peeking out from behind that sunflower. It's just gorgeous. And that butterfly. And even the, the butterflies on the inside, just for that little detail. It's just, oh, it's so good. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And then to match that, these are the uh, B6. So this is a B6, one of the melodies. Uh, this is the B6 dividers. These have pockets, which they've never had before. And they've also got foiling. So let's have a look at this. So you've got the, the front one. They've all got pockets. Wow, that's cool. <laughs> now, this is... I'm just going to laugh at this because I just think it's funny. If you have a look in here, and I don't think you guys will be able to see, so I'll put in a zoom. Uh, but if you look inside, there's actually artwork on the inside of the pockets, which feels really wasteful, but I think it's such a cute little detail. Uh, so you've got the foiled one on the front there that's got of all the seasons I love for most of all. It has the pocket on the back with the speckles. And then your next one here has, and these, again, out of order, but I've seen the papers for all the fall, all for all the fall all four full um, and they match really beautifully uh, so you've got that with the knit on the back again you'll hear me gush about that and then the same thing with the others with all the florals I love that they've got pockets this one's coming apart a little bit that does not bother me I can fix that with a bit of glue so that's not an issue wouldn't have bothered me if these didn't actually come glued together because it's so easy to fix and they've all got artwork on the inside I think so if you really, if you decided you didn't want the pockets, because I'll be honest, I didn't know the pockets were coming. So to me, they're just this really cool bonus. If I didn't know the pockets were coming, that would be fine. I like If you wanted to use the extra bit of cardstock, you could easily like pull this apart, cut off the excess, and then you've got six extra little bits of cardstock if that's what you wanted. Uh, these all come unpunched. Sorry, I forgot to show you the backs of those ones. All come unpunched. So if you aren't someone that uses the melody, if you want to use these... For another kind of planner, if you want to put them in a B6, um, uh, like a happy planner or something like that, if you do discs instead of rings, you can absolutely do that. You can punch these to your heart's content. So that's really cool that they come unpunched. Always been something I love about the PA ones, that they come unpunched. So then you get two notepads in here. This is the Awful Fall B6 and Tall Notepad Set. So you've got two in here. So it doesn't come out a hard bit on the back, but I think that's okay. So this one's kind of like a daily, no, like a weekly setup. So you've got your date, what date, oh no, it is a day. So um, you circle your day, you've got your date, what you're focusing on, and then kind of like a, a list, priorities, food, exercise, self-care, health, bonus, I'm falling for, so a little something of just reminding of what's going on, and then like a little sentence about today. Uh, they also come on a grid backdrop. So if you are someone that likes to draw or someone likes to take visual notes like that, um, this will be really beautiful. Really beautiful. And that's a really good one too. You can just punch and it's going to fit right in there. It's the perfect size to fit with your, your tea and note, uh, like into your melody rings. And then you've got your all the fall things. That's just cute. All the fall things. Beautiful gradient around the outside. And then that one will, you can sit it in here. You can either do it with a bit of paper might be a good one to stick to a piece of cardboard. Easy to do too. You can just do it with some tape and it will sit beautifully in there. Easy to do. That's actually gorgeous. The way it sits there is just stunning. I'm going to leave that there because I'm also going to have a look at these two. So this is the paper clip with the double charm. So first of all, it comes on your backing piece, which you've got to remember that you've got these. I feel like these are um, not forgotten by any stretch, but just something that goes unnoticed with sometimes the little backing ones so this one's got the you are golden and you could put that in here if you're someone that likes to do pockets someone that likes to sort of stack these up 
that would look really pretty even just sitting in the back there. And then the paper clip itself, oh my goodness, has the little um, sequin kind of ones and then it's got two charms on here. It's got a beautiful red maple leaf and then a gorgeous golden sunflower. That's beautiful. And I'm just going to flip it this way because I like my paper clips to sit a certain way. There we go. And there we go. So they sit on the bottom there and you could just peek that over there and it's going to look stunning. And then you got even as an extra bonus, extra bonus, this is the little uh, collector's pin. Now I, I will be honest, I'm not, I'm not a pin collector. That said, I have a lot of them. <laughs> A lot of them. They sit around here. I would have preferred if this was a flat back one, but I understand why it's not, so that's fine. You got your pin. I'm gonna pull that out. Obviously, not gonna sit in here because you'd have to actually put your hole through. But I feel like there's still ways that you could do things like with this one. You could easily take off maybe that fall and put this onto a little charm because it does have the hole in the back, um, and you could turn it into a bit of a charm. But just remember that it's got the got the little pin on the back. Uh, this one also comes with its own little backer sheet. This is a really strong backer sheet. And this one's got the little gnome. I just want to bottle up full and enjoy it all year round. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's just so cute. I love that. All right. And let's have a look at the washi tape before we have a look at this notebook. Because I'm really excited by this notebook. So I'm, I, I want to have a look at it. It's something that PA haven't done before. So something I'm really excited to have a look at. So you get... Two washi, uh, washi bundles, I guess is the right word, um, or washi duo, sorry, uh, with the All For Fall bundle set. The first one is this gorgeous ombre, kind of pink to orange to yellow with gold foil, sunflowers, and some of those leaves. And the other one is this really pretty orange. I'm wondering if this is ombre too. It is. It goes that um, orange to yellow to sort of pinky orange and back again uh, with the gold foil speckles uh, and then all the other speckles. And then the other one, oh, that's the same one, sorry. I nearly did the same one again. The other one has all these beautiful fall leaves, autumn leaves, whichever you want to call it, with the mushrooms and then the gold foil splatter as well. And then the skinny one has got an orange brown kind of green ombre. Oh, wow orange to brown to green. It is, goes, does go to green uh, with the little autumn leaves on there as well. That is beautiful. What I'll do, I won't get the all for four washi tapes out from the kit now. What I'll do is at the end of that video, when I do the, the unboxing of that one, I'll put in a little extra insert at the end uh, when I can compare all the washi tapes so that you can see them all and see sort of at a glance what you're going to get with all of them. So it's just a reason to watch that video. Just a reason to watch that video. Um, and if you are watching this after the end of October, um, I will link it down below and you can go and check it out. All right, so let's have a look at this creative notebook. Again, I love the fact that it's come uh, in, a, in its own little box. I love gift boxes or just boxes of any kind. They make me happy. Um, Ryan doesn't love them so much because they tend to take up a lot of storage room in my, in my cupboard. And then I can't get them down because I put them up so high and I can't reach them. So, you know, all the things. So the little thing on the front says, creative notebook inside, write, sketch, draw, doodle, list, colour, stick, plan, create, design, track, document, journal, collage, learn, note, remember, dream. More importantly, give yourself permission to love and use me. Which I'm sure all of you are like me. I have real issues using notebooks. Um... Just, I feel like I'm, I'm going to waste them, which is not what I want to do. So it comes in a mm, really beautiful box, and it's got a little um, protective piece of paper sitting around it. Oh, wow. And then you've got your creative notebook. I'm going to pop it out. So it's just a plain piece of white paper, so it doesn't matter if that gets damaged or hurt or anything. And the creative notebook cover here is... Um, all around the outside. So this is a 160 GSM uh, pages. Now, hold on, how am I going to do this? I don't want to tear anything. There we go. So I'm just going to take that off. So this has got, and I didn't, I didn't realise this, so I might not have listened hard enough when they were telling it. This is like a fabric cover. It's not a, um, like a smooth 
kind of printed cover, which is what I think I thought it was going to be. It's got that gorgeous splattery look, all the beautiful pictures, and it's got the PA actually embossed in there with the, the foil, which is just stunning. And it comes with a elastic closure, which I think is really, really cool. And then when you open this up, just it's just stuck. It's okay. There it is. Oh, that's foil. So it's got this book belongs to with that gold foil. Can you see how good that is? And then all through here is, like I said, that 160 GSM um, paper. It's beautiful. It's all dot grid. It's a light dot grid. And they're, they're I'm, I'm guessing, I'll get my ruler, hold on. They are half centimetre squares, which is good because that's what I like to work with. That's just beautiful. It smells lovely too. And I think they, I think it said it was 300 pages, I think. Not quite sure how many pages it is, but it's 160 GSM. Feels beautiful. And then at the back, at the back you've got a little um, pocket section. So this has got that same fabric -y kind of stuff. It kind of feels like a... A plasticky fabric like I wouldn't be worried that it was going to get wet like I think it would kind of what's the word I'm looking for um repel water I wouldn't want to get it wet but would repel water so it's got that big pocket in the back that's beautiful and then you have three pages here of journaling stickers so you've got that first page with all the beautiful florals the leaves it's got the speckles in the background Oh, no, two, oh, sorry, it's two pages, but it's four pages, two of the same one. So you've got two of the decorative ones. That flower is just stunning. I didn't see that the first time. Uh, and then you've got little tabs. Sorry, it's upside down. Little tabs. You've got a nameplate if you want to use it, and you've got some sort of bordery, tabby kind of ones as well. Uh, the only thing I'll say is that they are gloss. They're not the, the normal matte um, that PA do, but that's okay. That's absolutely not an issue. Oh my goodness, what the heck am I going to use that for? Oh, it also does come, sorry, I forgot to show you this one. Also does come with two little um, ribbon borders. So you can have maybe one to today and one to next week. If you're a bullet, if you're a bullet journalist, oh my goodness, these are going to blow your mind. Um, that is really stunning. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. It absolutely lifts up to the quality I thought it would. That's just beautiful. I love that. And yeah, now I need to think of something to do in it. I actually think it would make an absolutely beautiful art journal if I wasn't the kind of person uh, that would absolutely freak out about the fact that I can't tear the pages out. And that's just my that's just my issue. I can't do that. Um, it doesn't fit. Oh, it kind of fits inside the TN if you really wanted to. Um, I wouldn't, but you, you definitely could. I think that would work. That would work if you really wanted to, but I wouldn't do that. But anyway, there we go. That's everything that you get in the All For Fall bundle. Let's then have a look at the For The Booze. So the For The Booze little bundle came with a sticker book, a little pin, and oh, two washi duos. So we'll have a look at the pin first. I'm going to use this for Halloween. So because of the way Halloween falls, Halloween falls on a Monday. So... For me to do that, it would mean that it's going to be in the first week of November in my planner, which is actually wrong. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to celebrate Halloween for the last two weeks of October, and it's actually not going to include the day of Halloween, but I think it'll work. Anyway, um, so you've got the cute little pin here on its own little um, cardstock backer sheet. That's really heavy duty cardstock as well, same as the other one. And it's just got on there Drink Up Witches. So cute. I love... I think when I saw the colours for this, I was really taken by the purples and the oranges, which is really normal for Halloween. But it's got this really gorgeous little streak of blue, which I'm hoping is going to continue on through the others. That's just really cool. I like that. Again, not a pin person, but I feel like I'm going to really enjoy having that and I'm going to find a way to use it. Uh, so I'm just going to really quickly take these washi tapes out and we'll have a look at these. All right, so the first one is what I'm going to call a bit more fairy flossy. It feels a bit more light and bright and kind of magic instead of spooky. So it's got all of your potions on here. So it's kind of got the potions like in uh, Dream Chaser. It's got that kind of feel to it. It's got the beautiful bottles with all of the bubbles. Your bubbles are holographic. So when you spin this in the light, it just picks up that gorgeous hollow. It's so pretty. 
and then the the other one has got a kind of an ombre pink to purple with a bit of yellow in it oh that's so cool that looks so super spooky i love that uh, and that's also got the the holographic little specks on it so they could either be bubbles or splatter whatever you want to think of them the other two are a little bit more dark but again they've got the um holographic to them so you've got happy halloween which better have my candy trick or treat boo make your own magic eat drink and be scary and then it goes back to the happy halloween i only said harry oh dear nearly said harry i don't know why i've got harry potter on the mind i just do and then this one this is so cool again with the hollow it has your skeletons it has your ghosts it has all your candy Oh, it's got your jack-o'-lanterns and those there's just something about holographic and the way that it hits the light it just makes those ghosts look really alive and that's really cool <laughs> that week's gonna be so much fun i can't wait i seriously can't wait for the last week of october i'm gonna have so much fun all right so let's have a look at this sticker book which is honestly the part that i was most uh excited about and not because not because I'm a Halloween person, because you guys know I'm not. And not because I didn't like any of the fall stuff. It was just more that I really wanted this to be here for the last week in October for me to do it in my planner. Or otherwise doing blackout was kind of irrelevant. Anyway, um, so this is a normal PA sticker book. It's just a special edition. You, this doesn't come with a kit. You're not going to find it anywhere else. It is a standalone. I do know most of this is still available on the website. I feel like... The um the washi tape for All for Fall is the only thing that may have already sold out. But I think everything else is still available. So if you're interested, this all was pre-order. So I ordered this ages ago. Um, so that's why I'm very excited that it's here. So you've got your your original your standard sticker book kind of thing uh, with your acetate on the front. Don't forget that acetate is great for crafting. And then you've got all oh, these holographic ghosts. Oh my goodness. I just, I cannot stop moving that in the light just for it to check it, especially that purple one. There's something about the purple and the holographic, it's just killing me. So these ones have all got the white around them, but if you have a look down the bottom here, you've got your skeleton minis, which also have foil, just as a side note. These two especially are really cute. They've got little hearts, um, but they're black. They've got black all around the outside. So when I put this in my black planner, it's going to look awesome. I'm so excited. So then you have a whole page of clear. So I'm interested too to see how these look on black. So you've got trick or treat, trick and treat, and you've got your little kitties, you've got your uh, your books and your wands, and then your tarot cards. Oh, tarot cards. Uh, you've got your gingerbread house, you've got your cat with its treats. Again, these are all clear, but they've got the foil. These ones don't, these ones do. You've got your gingerbreads. Oh, gingerbread skeletons. That's so cute. Uh, and you've got your little candy corns. You've got a whole page of black whole page of black yes and they got little red kits i didn't see any of this i deliberately avoid it because i like being excited so you've got your own little blackout week kits so you've got the first one here that's got all the spider webs with that hollow oh my goodness and these look neon you got your days ain't got time for lazy bones oh yeah and then you have a standard one that doesn't have any foiling on it and then you have the bubbles with the foils. This one's got that really um, bubbly, bright kind of one. Oh, I could so do two weeks. I'm really tempted. You guys are going to have to tell me if it would be bad to do basically planners on almost three weeks in a row. Because I'll do PA for that week before Halloween in the blackout. And then I'll do PA for the week after, which is at the actual week of Halloween. But then I would need to put Riviera in. So it would probably be three weeks in a row of PA. So you let me know. I'll, I, will, I will be guided by you. Uh, and then you've got a white sort of Halloween week with the witch better have candy. With that cute little cat. He's good. You've got another page of the um, transparent ones. You've got the washi strip. You've got some magic potion. Some more washi strips. Some more of the books and the bigger ones. Whole page of functionals. Yeah. And then you have a whole page of numbers and quotes and words. You've got a full one of Happy Halloween, Trick or Treat. I've put a spell on you which just puts that song from Hocus Pocus 2 straight in my head. So I'll read Hocus Pocus 1, not Hocus Pocus 2. 
Uh, and it's got boo, 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 boo. Love, inspired, note to self, something new, happy birthday. So good. I love the way that picks up the light. Oh my goodness. So worth the wait. I'm so excited. I'm beyond excited. There needs to be more words uh, for what I am right now. Absolutely love all of this. Was it worth waiting for? Oh, hell yeah, it was. I'm so excited to jump into this. I'm so excited for you guys to see everything that I have gotten from PA in the last couple of weeks. As I sort of said in Riviera, it all came at once and that video would be way too long. So I had to split it up into kits. And plus that way, if you're only interested in one, you can just go back and have a look at just one. Um, but I, I, I just couldn't wait to show you this stuff. It was too exciting. It was too special to sit and wait behind the kits. The kits have all been out in the world. We've all seen them. Most people who love PA, except for me, um, have a look at the, the spoilers so you know what's coming. I avoid them because I like to be excited. Um, but if, if you're really interested, you've probably already seen them. So I feel like this is okay to chuck in the front. Um, but yeah, I just, I just couldn't wait. It had, it had to come in. Uh, but if you are interested in PAU and the actual All For Fall kit, uh, make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss those videos when they go up. They won't be far away. If you did enjoy this one, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and make sure you let me know about those Halloween weeks. Is it going too far to have three? I don't know. Let me know. I uh, hope you guys have an absolutely awesome rest of your day and I will catch you again in my next video. Sending lots of huggles. Bye.